Welcome back everyone, we're going to be solving Leak Code 419, Battleships and a Board. So this problem is pretty much the exact same as the number of islands problem, um, except uh, instead of ones and zeros, we're dealing with x's and dots. Um, so essentially the same thing as number of islands, if you've watched that video before. If you haven't, uh, essentially what we're going to do is run either depth first search or breadth first search on this grid and count the number of battleships on this board and uh, in the number of islands problem I ran depth first search so this problem we are going to do breadth first so if you want to see the depth first version go check out that video alright so let's get started uh, we are going to implement breadth first so we are going to need our queue from our collections library from collections import dq we will set that up. Q is going to be equal to a DQ of an empty array. And we are going to have some sort of count to count the battleships, right? We are also going to have a uh, visited set to keep track of the row column pairs we have already visited. Okay, now we need to iterate through every row and column in our grid. How do we do that? We can say for row in the range length of our grid and for column in range length of grid zero. What are we going to do? We have to check and see if the grid at our row column, if that position is an X and it hasn't been visited before, we can increment our count. That means we've run into a new battleship and then we can run breadth first search. So let's say if uh, grid at, what is this, row, what did I say, row column, row column, if that is equal to an X, right? Yep, our battleships are represented by X's. If that is equal to an X and the pair row column is not in our visited set, what are we going to do? we are going to increment our count by one and add this row column pair onto our queue. So we will say queue.append the row column pair and then we can just run breadth first on this. So we'll say while the length of our queue is not equal to zero, we are going to grab the row column pair with queue.pop left. Now, we need to check and make sure that this row column pair is valid within our grid, right? So for example, one, zero, zero is valid, but negative one, negative one, right? That's off our board, that's off the grid, that would not be valid. So we have to check and make sure that these two values are valid pairs on our grid. How do we do that? We can say if uh, row is greater than or equal to zero and less than, the length of our grid and our column is less than or equal to zero and less than the length of our grid at uh, the first row. What are we going to do? We also need to check if that row column pair is not in our visited set and the position at our row column pair within our grid is equal to an X, then we can continue our depth, or I mean our breadth first traversal. So we'll say visited.add the row column pair, and then we can add on the uh, new row column pairs within our grid. So if we're at zero, zero, we want to add in one, uh, or zero, one, and uh, we would want to add in one zero, right? We'd want to add in all of the adjacent uh, boxes. So we'll say q dot append the row plus one at the current column. We will add in the previous row, q dot append the previous row with row minus one at our current column. And we will append the current row at the next column and we will append the current row at our previous column. And then at the end, we can just return our count. We should have the correct count of our battleships. So let's get rid of some spaces and run this. 
invalid syntax. This should be not in, not is not in. Perfect, we pass up both test cases, so let's submit. Awesome, so we do pass the submission cases. So this, again, this is the pretty much the exact same problem as the number of islands, uh, except in that problem we ran depth first traversal, in this problem we ran breadth first, and the time and space complexity is going to be the same as the last problem, where it is r times c, the time complexity is going to be O of the rows times the columns, right? We have to traverse every row and every column. And then the space complexity is going to be the same as well. Row times columns, we are um, adding in all of our visited row column pairs. All right, that'll do it for Leetcode 419.